Brandon, Aaron, Aaron Hillbilly, and today I'm going to be processing some birds. Uh, we'll be uh, showing you how to uh, process chicken, and I'm going to actually do my first um, duck today. I've processed ducks before, or had them processed for me, but today I'm going to take the duck myself, and uh, that is, they are much different than uh, chicken is. You have to wax them, but before I want to go into that, I wanted to show you uh, something about your uh, your burner, how you're heating your water. Um, I near about died three days ago when I first was going to make this video. Um, this is my original burner that I would use to, um, to heat my water with, and if you can see this up real close, that is where my hose burned into. Now, when I when I was lighting the burner, I thought I was going to smell an excess amount of propane. And in fact, I did. I turned my back for just a split second. When I turned around, this whole area was on fire. So there was flames everywhere. You can't really tell it because everything's so green. But there was flames not everywhere. So I went and got a new one. And I like my new one a lot better. Um, this is a 88,000 BTU burner, jet burner. I like it because it's got a square base to it. That's lower to the ground, so it's going to be more stable. Um, so I just wanted you to see that. I, I did not like this style. It's got the round. See how weeble wobbly it is? You're not going to do that with the, uh, the square burner. So. All right, so you may be wondering why we are not using our scalding sink, which we spent 150 bucks on thinking it was gonna be the farmer's dream. And in reality, it looks good on paper, but it's a hunk of junk, I'm gonna tell you. That's the worst 150 bucks we ever spent. I used it a total of four times, and it quit working. Um, if I show you this, this is how it's supposed to work. You got the heating element inside like it would be in a water heater. It runs, it runs on a uh, 110 volt, um, but like I said, we used it four times, it quit working. I called Stromberg's, which is uh, where we bought it from, over a week ago, and they have, still have not responded to my call. Um, as far as warranty goes, and the thing is four months old, so um, as, like I said, it's the biggest waste of time. Um, go get you, we spent $100 on our pot, $45 on our burner, so for the same money, you have a burner that you can use with other things, you have a pot that you can cook in or whatever else, you can't cook in a sink. So, um, I would definitely steer you away from doing a scalding sink because it's a complete waste of time. I was completely unhappy with my experience. Um, so, we're going to get back over here. I need to... Uh, select a couple birds to slaughter and uh... all right y'all so I gotta insert this into the video because uh, <laughs> well anybody ever tells you that knowledge is free <laughs> hadn't uh, gone through much in life so uh... <laughs> you know I was showing you my new burner my new pot and all that well, here's my education. Make sure you put the water in the pot before you put the pot on that burner because it will burn a hole, slam through that aluminum. Lesson learned. <laughs> that was a $100 mistake. Education ain't free. Everybody, uh, what? <laughs> saw that little outtake we had a little mishap with our uh, pot and this time we got water in the pot before we put it over the burner and uh, we are heat, heating our water up right now so it's installed right now we're looking at we're about a, about 118 120 so we got about another 30 degrees to go uh, before we do this so um, right now what we're about to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, kill a couple of birds. These are our kill cones and I'll show you a full uh, 
how to on doing these birds. But first, I need to go uh, round up a couple of birds. I got a great, uh, the, the, the most professional chicken and duck catcher you ever seen right here. She's a champion, and she's going to get her done. Um, so we're going to catch a couple of birds right quick, and uh, we'll uh, go from there. All right, so uh, my champion uh, chicken catcher has uh, got me a, a chicken here, and uh, the proper way to put these guys in the kill cone is uh, breast to the back for two reasons. Uh, first reason is that if you put them in there like this, their knees right here, they can get over on this lift right here and lift themselves out. You do it breast to the back here, they can't do that. And then when you put him in, see his head pops right out the bottom here. And it's in a perfect position for you to come right here and get uh, both of his uh, both of his veins on each side of his neck. And we're gonna do both sides. I'm just gonna get down here and uh, a lot of people will pluck these feathers off when they're doing it. I, I just make sure that I have a, a good sharp knife and I go and get with the business. I'm not going to sit here and pluck the bird's feathers out and cause me more pain. So just, when I do it, I mean business like I want to cut his head off. See, there's no reason to pluck that. There's plenty of access right there. Yep, See, just like that. Just try not to get your blade on a quill like I did that first time. Cause uh, it could uh, cause more pain to the bird than what's necessary. So I'm gonna let him drain out. I like to hold the head when I'm doing this, cause otherwise. He'd be flipping all around and he'd be slinging his blood everywhere. So I'm like, so until it stops running consistently, I'm just going to hold his head. And then when it starts to slow down to a drip, I'll turn it loose and then I'll do that duck. So we'll give him here just another five or ten seconds and then we'll move on to the next spot. Now if you guys got any questions or anything, feel free to comment. I'd be glad to answer any questions about uh, anything you might have. Now, of course, our water is still heating up. I just checked it. It was about 135. So we need probably another 15 degrees before we can scald the, the chicken. And we need another 25 degrees before we can do that, uh, do the duck. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that to happen, I have... Okay, so he stopped dripping. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that to happen, I have uh, four other birds that we did earlier in the week. That we scalded and gutted and everything, and we let them rest three to five days. I like to let them go ahead and rest five days. That way, all the rigor mortis is out of them, and you're not eating tough meat. So, uh, chicken is just about done. I'm gonna grab the duck here. Go on, stretch them out. going to drain right out. And I know some folks are not going to like this, but the Chick-fil-A comes from somewhere and somebody's got to do it. And I make sure that all my animals have a, a content life before this point in time. They all live a good, happy life up until this point. Matter of fact, Christian, you can see the As you can see, they're free. They're free to roam about during the day. This is a open, totally open area, um, and they're free to come and go as they please. Um, 
I only close the doors on them at night for their protection. As a matter of fact, the uh, our turkeys were a little bit stubborn last night and uh, decided they wanted to roost on top of the chicken coop, and we lost one of our turkeys during the middle of the night. Something happened, and I haven't seen any of the rest of the turkeys all day. So hopefully we'll uh, have some turkeys here. I don't know. I waited a long time for those. Um, but we'll see. Unfortunately, I'm thinking that I might possibly be seeing some feathers in a different place right now in the back back here. I don't know, but we'll check that out later. And we'll see what happens. These guys are going to drain out. They're going to pass away. Our water's going to come to temperature. And then I'll show you scalding. I'll show you waxing. I'll show you how to package them in uh, shrink bags. I'll be right back. Alright, so before we scald any birds, we're going to um, package up the birds that we did a few days ago, now that they've rested. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to take one of these handy dandy shrink wrap bags. And I may have to get a bigger one, I'm not sure, but we're going to, I think I can get them in this So we're going to try and see what happens to these birds that I've already done. So we'll see if they're going Push them drums down like that. Just push them down with my finger. So they sit in there and I can close my bag up. Easy. Now what I'm gonna do is come right here. And I and I got this uh, zip tie right here. Back up you're too close. Take this um, zip tie here. We'll come around his end. Like that. I got it loosely around. We'll pull this like this here so it goes down good. I'm not going to tighten it all the way until I shrink it. Now if you watch this, when it goes in the water, that water is 150 degrees. See how it's shrinking around that bird right there? And then when I when I get it uh, shrunk down wet, wet oh that's hot. Just gonna go ahead and zip that tight. There's your uh, processed bird, ready for the freezer. So one bagged up shrink shrink wrap bag chicken. Now we'll do the rest of them, and I'll be back with you. All right, so it's time to scald our birds here. And uh, our uh, temperature here says that we're running about 160 on this thermometer. I like my little digital. Uh, put my phone in there, and I'm coming back and, uh, well, let's see. At 156 degrees, and that's going to be perfect for um, scalding the chicken. It needs a few more degrees to stuff. So we're going to go ahead and knock this uh, uh, chicken out. Now when I do it, I like to go ahead and get the feet first. 
Number Duncan feet in there. Maybe 10, 15 seconds. Feet out to be nice and toasted right now. And do the same thing this way. And I like to swish him around. Make sure that he gets uh, make sure that water penetrates through the feathers. Ooh, that's hot. Now when you do that, you only want to do that for maybe 15 to 20 seconds because you don't want to cook the bird, you want to scald the bird. And if you do it much more than that, it'll start to cook. So we'll just pull him out for just a minute, let him chill out for a minute, and then we'll do it one more time. And then we'll throw him in the fluff. Okay. Now use the use the leg to push him on down up in there. Now you can see why I did the feet first, because otherwise I'd have to be holding his head with a full of hot water to dunk your feet. You want to dunk your feet because all the scales are gonna come off when you go to when you go to uh, when you go to uh, put them in the look. A lot of people eat uh, a lot of people eat chicken feet. They're good for you. They're good for calcium. Good for your joints and your heart. All right, so I'm gonna throw him, throw him put the uh, fluffer on, we're gonna drop him in. And while he's in, I'm gonna be cutting off his feet and his head while we're plucking. And the reason I cut them off now is because um, they have a tendency to get hung up inside. So I'm gonna cut the fluffer off. I don't want to leave them in there too long because if you do, you, roughly, you run the risk of uh, dislocating joints or breaking bones. And if you're retailing these guys, they're going to be hard to sell if you're trying to sell them uh, for uh, veins or whatnot. Now I'm just going to drop them in there for another quick spin. Lift my hands off. I'm going to throw him in the cooler and uh, we're going to go gut him in just a second. This is my duck wax. Now this has to be 160 degrees to melt this wax. I don't know how long it's going to take. 
but I'm going to try to shorten up the process by uh, cutting this into smaller pieces. Huh. All right, so now we need to do the duck. To do the duck, we need to wax it. And to wax it, we need to, uh, um, well, from what I've read, we need to scald them first, like we did the chicken. And then we're going to uh, run it through the plucker and then put him back into the hot water give them a little wax that will break off like a shell. So, um, fall in real quick, and we'll see if the guys know what they're talking about. Here we go. Hi. Good. 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 Now we got, uh, whoo, that cock. He's in there spinning. I'm gonna take some of this back. Get it in there and start the mill. At least I think I am. It might be too hard for me to. There's a big difference between how well the chicken does in that starter and how the duck does. I'm going to go ahead and get his feet while I can. Right there. Alright, so we're going to uh, duck here through the... Uh, to the plucker swamp. Now we're gonna wax him. And I'm just gonna duck, duck him nice and easy real quick. I don't want to cook him, so I'm not gonna leave him in there for any amount of time. Just long enough to get that wax on. I'm gonna use a little bit of water here to get that wax set up. Oh, and by the way, what I did see in the woods was my other turkey, so I no longer have turkey. So if anybody's got any uh, royal palm turkey, I'd love to get them. Alright, 
As you can see, the wax is setting up on this bird. But right now, I don't know that there's going to be any advantage of this. I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I just feel like I got wax as well. All right, now then, that now that came off nice. And the, if you see that right there, it got them little pin feathers too. That was nice. Okay. And I'm just throwing this right back into the pot and then we can strain the pot. Alright, so uh, wax is hardened up and that's nice. I'm going to take these that have already come off and I'm going to throw them right back in that water and they're going to uh, see how easy that come off. All right, now I'm seeing the benefits of a wax. I almost dunked him too long. Almost, I've almost put the skin. My water was a little hot, going in, and I knew it. So. But, anyway. Looks like I also need to wait longer for that uh, wax to harden up. And I'm not crazy about this at all. I mean, it's alright. But, I might as well pluck him by hand anyway. I'd rather just run him through the plucker and not have to worry about the time and extra expense of waxing. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I don't know. You get that water too hot and see it cook the skin. So what's the point? I just I definitely didn't want to put the skin. It don't take much. So, we'll finish this guy up. And then I'll get him on the table and I'll show you about uh, uh, gutting him. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to finish the job here on the on these two birds that we uh, just scalded, plucked and everything. So, first order of business, you'll come right here, put the finger. Right there at the end of the breastbone, that's going to tell you where you need to cut. Now, when I do this, I like to pull up on it a little bit so that the skin don't come up over the uh, um, doesn't leave the breast uncovered. Now, once I get through there, I'm just going to rip him open. All right. And then I'm going to reach in as far as I can reach. <clears throat> well, that's not quite how it's supposed to go, but I'm going to flip that out and come right here and cut out the, the poop shoot. Like that. Now there's no poop is gonna get inside. I gotta remove the crawl. Come here, it's always gonna be on. If it was your chest, it'd be on the right hand side. It's gonna take a little cut right there. Right in there. And 
and this is the call which is where he where his food goes when he uh, picks it up off the ground just like that back to normal so we don't want all that corn inside of it so we got all the guts out of it we're going to rinse them off. Ready. All right. All right, so now we're going to gut the duck. And duck is a little bit different. Um, his business end is actually in his tail. So he had to be kind of... Uh, careful when you're doing this so you don't uh, uh, open up any of the urinary tract or any of the digestive tract. We're going to kind of open it up so we can actually access his, his bowels. Alright. He's kind of got a little, little bit of cartilage right there. Now, this is not a door knife, this is a this is actually a, a bench made that uh Pat found the left of wheel. There we go. Now we're in. Alright. This is a, a little bit more difficult to get into. Uh, I got a big hand. I don't like the fit. Oh, sweet, so the crawl came out with it. Everything's going good so far. Alright, now we're going to cut out his uh, uh, birthday business here. Just making sure I don't cut any of them test lines. Come over, flip over here to the other side. wonder why I don't just cut the tail off is because that's a, it's got a lot of fat in it so when you're making your gravy and stuff like that that's real good for the gravy. That's it. He also got a heart up in there. There's heart. So, and this is the gizzard right here. Gonna we'll cut everything right off the gizzard. Throw the fat off. That. Now, see this gizzard here? How it's got that uh, real dark right there? I'm just gonna cut it just like that. See, that's all feed from breakfast this morning. So, rinse this off right here. Now this is uh now this gizzard has uh like a skin. If you know anything about what the gizzard does, it's basically the muscle on the outside of the stomach. And it grinds everything that's inside of it. And boy this thing sure don't want to peel off. Chickens are uh gizzard is a lot thicker. But, I'm not gonna fool that right now, but uh, it's clean, and we'll do that in the kitchen when it's time to cook the burger. That's cleaned up. Drop it back. Oh, you know what? I haven't ripped the bird off yet. Right back down in there. There's a heart. 
Flop that right back down in there. Now here's the liver. Now when you're doing the liver, you have to be careful with the gallbladder. I believe it is. Yeah, see, right here, this little green sack. If that gets on, if that busts, it's going to go all over your meat and you're not going to be able to sell it or eat it. So the best way that I find is to come right here to the top of it, pinch it off, and just detach your liver just like that. And that goes straight into the trash can. So I'm going to set that down, lift my hand, lift the liver, drop them in, and then this will go in the garbage. And we'll do the same thing for the chicken. And that's a wrap. Good.